everyone, my name is Jade and I'm a third year PhD sociology student and this video is about autonomous Marxism. Autonomous Marxism is a particular sect within Marxist thought that foregrounds workers' experiences of and with oppression and works towards establishing the autonomy and power of all oppressed peoples within modern capitalism. Unlike an orthodox Marxism, work within autonomous Marxism refers to all types of labor, including paid labor as well as unpaid domestic labor, student labor, and reproductive labor. Similarly, autonomy is considered to be not just autonomy from capital, like political parties and corporations, but also autonomy from other social groups, whereby the primacy of oppressed folks mobilizing independently from their oppressors is recognized like women from men, queer people from straight people, people of color from white people, and so on. Autonomous Marxism represents a challenge to the economically deterministic interpretations of Marxism that plague orthodox Marxist theory. This current within Marxism paints the relations of capital as all-powerful and thus narrows the focus of capitalist domination to the economic sector, opposed to making visible the power and agency of the oppressed as well as the various forms of expression that constitute modern capitalist societies. Autonomous Marxism finds its roots in the works of Marxist feminists like Dorothy Smith, who point to the role that unpaid domestic labor plays in reproducing the relations of capital. It also has ontological groundings in the work of black radical thinkers like Frantz Fanon and W.E.B. Du Bois, who stretch the boundaries of historical materialism to include an analysis of how colonialism and racial slavery interface with capitalist domination. The logic of autonomous Marxism has also been echoed throughout the works of a diverse range of modern scholars, like queer theorist Kevin Floyd and indigenous writer and activist Glenn Coulthard. While divergently focused, all of these scholars use the insights of historical materialism to try to map out the social relations of struggle as they relate to the agency and power of the oppressed and thus work to extend and complicate said relations in order to properly deal with questions of race, gender, sexuality, indigeneity, and the many other lines of oppression. Thus, instead of referring to some unified idea of the proletariat, autonomous Marxists use the term working class composition to point to the specific social formations of oppression that develop in conjunction with the relations of capital within a given social and historical context. The idea behind autonomous Marxism is that capitalists strategically try to demobilize the political capacities of working class composition by augmentating and reorganizing the relations of difference that divide us, thereby fragmentating us. Such efforts to demobilize working class struggles produce new forms of class and social oppression that subsequently bring about new forms of resistance. In turn, class and social struggles under capitalism are always evolving. In the words of autonomous Marxist Gary Kinsman, unlike in some Marxist uses, the working class is not a thing, an object, or classification. It is always in process and exists in struggle. Here, oppression is thought to always be changing and in the process of transforming itself. Thus, history and the shifting of social relations over time is considered to be vital to autonomous Marxists' understanding of working class struggles. So that's my video on autonomous Marxism. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see similar videos, please subscribe to my channel. See you later.